Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. I am very excited to share with you this brand new model from DeepSeek which is Janus 1.3 billion. This model is also present on Hacking Face now. And the reason why I am so excited is because this is a multi-model model which has beaten lot of other big names on various benchmarks as you can see on this screen. And those big names include Delhi E, STXL and few others. And you can read all about it on the model card and I will drop the link in video's description. We will be installing this model locally and then not only we will be doing vision capabilities which means that we will give it an image and we will ask questions about it. Plus you can also generate images just with text prompts in very good quality with the help of this model and this is what we are going to see locally shortly on this system but before that let's have a quick look in very simple language what exactly this Janus is from DeepSeek. So Janus is really a groundbreaking AI framework that seamlessly integrates multimodal understanding and generation capabilities. It really seems like that this is an evolution of existing multimodal models. So the way it works is quite interesting. By decoupling visual encodings into separate pathways, Janus overcomes limitations of its predecessors that enhances flexibility and performance. This innovative architecture enables this Janus framework to excel in various tasks from interpreting complex images and text to generating novel content as you can see in this diagram and you can find it in their model card too. With its simplicity, adaptability and exceptional results, Janus stands as a formidable contender for next generation unified multimodal models because it paves the way for exciting advancements in AI powered applications. Also, it's an autoregressive model. What it means is that it predicts the next element in a sequence by using its previous predictions. Okay, enough talk. Let's now install this on our local system. And before that, let me give a huge thanks to Mast Compute who are sponsoring this VM and GPU for this video. If you're looking to rent a GPU on good prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. So do check them out. You will also get a 50% discount coupon. This is Ubuntu system I am running, Ubuntu 22.04 and this is my GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM courtesy masked compute. Let me clear the screen. First let's create a virtual environment with Conda. And just because it's quite a framework so there are fair bit of installation which needs to be done but I will share all the steps with you. So this is a virtual environment and then we have to install all of these prerequisites which include Torch, Torch Vision, um, the latest version of Transformers and all that stuff. And this is going to take four to five minutes. So let's wait for it to finish. All the prerequisites are done now. Now let's git clone the repo of Janus because that provides us lots of utilities in order to get it working. And for that we would also need to install it in editable format from the root of repo. So let's wait for it to finish. And that was quick, that's all done. Next up let's launch our Jupyter Notebook in browser environment so that we could download and play with the model. So let's wait for it to get downloaded and installed. The Jupyter Notebook is launched. Let's import all of the libraries and download the tokenizer and a model. Okay, so model is getting downloaded as you can see here. And the size is just under over 4 gig. So it should be good. Let's wait for it. And the model is downloaded and you can ignore these warnings for now. Let's do the simple inference. Let me paste the code from their repo. So this is a prompt template we are going to use where we are asking our question that describes the image. And then this is the image. This is a local image from my disk which I am passing. This is the one. And then we are loading the images with the pillow. We are preparing the input. 
which means that we are putting in the prompt template tokenizer is converting it into the input tokens and then model is generating the output with the help of these hyperparameters and then we are decoding it back the response of the model with the help of tokenizer and then printing it out so let me run to see how it performs on that image okay so that is all already done and you can see the response is quite comprehensive let me just move it above it has just started with introducing itself what the model is and then it is describing the image so you see look at the language that the image depicts a serene and picturesque scene of a sunset the sunset the sun is uh, prominently positioned near the horizon casting a warm golden glow in the foreground there is a silhouette of a tree with a broad canopy to the right of the tree there are two kangaroos okay so it couldn't count the total number of kangaroos above the horizon a flock of birds which is correct in the v formation that is cool yes and the background features a range of hills or mountains very nice the entire scene is devoid of any text or discernible human activity focusing solely on the nat natural elements in the summary the image is beautiful representation of a serene sunset with silhouette of a tree and two kangaroos and a flock of birds so the, it describes the image and then it has given us the summary uh, and most of the time you have you see that it has got it right good stuff let's do an ocr so this is the ocr image which i'm going to use and i already have replaced the path so let me run it while it runs we will also check out uh, the vram consumption so it is running at the moment let me run it so you see it is consuming just over 5 gig of vram so make sure you have 8 gb of vram at least for this model and it is still running let's wait for it to come back and then we will see how it does the ocr i'll just keep it here there you go so it already has done so it says that image contains a text passage that appears to be a description of visual content possibly a web page or an image and then this is telling us text in markdown format so just look at it and see if there are any mistakes so it has done the alphanumeric characters, the numeric characters. It has also put in the umlauts on top of the words, as you can see here. And then uh, it also detected some French, German and other languages. Quite cool. So you see now it is describing the elements that uh, this is a type of fox, by the way, which is described as springing over the fallen dog and the duck goose very nice <clears throat> and then it is just describing it and really really good stuff because i have cut down the output to just 512 as you can see here max new token you can increase it if you want to see in the full so really good stuff here next up i have given it this image of tokyo city in the snow and i am asking it which location is that in the image let's see if it is able to detect it Meanwhile, it does. Let me also introduce you to the sponsors of a video who are Agent QL. Agent QL is a query language for extracting data from web pages quickly, easily, and at scale. You can use the Python SDK to run your queries in production using Playwright and use the browser based debugger for optimizing queries in real time on any web page. Agent QL is quite robust alternative to Fragile XPath and DOM CSS selectors as it uses the power of AI to analyze the page structure to find the data you are looking for okay so that is agent ql for us let's go back to our stuff and let's see if it is able to see what city is that so it says that the image appears to be taken in a busy urban area likely in japan given the japanese character on the sign and that is what i was hoping for that it is going to identify the language it could be chinese korean or any similar one but you see it, it is very very correctly identified uh, <clears throat> what exactly written and look at this the sign include japanese text such as pachinko Pachin and so it is it has really made it out of made out of it which is really good and there is no mention of tokyo and really i mean to be fair to the model it's very hard to identify any location because it could be any location in japan but really good stuff Okay, so we have seen now, <clears throat> sorry, we have seen now how it can do that. 
let me see if it is multi it is multilingual we already have seen that it has identified japanese and all that stuff let me ask it one more question and then we'll go for text to image generation and this time i have given it a hard one so there is some hand written page and i have asked it so if you see the, my prompt i have asked it extract the text from this image so i'm very particular what i want so you see it is saying look at that so the first two lines global warming is undoubtedly a very big issue it is reaching special distribution in the world so it is not 100 percent correct but it still quite good enough and then middle ages it is just talking about middle ages and then last two pages it has identified the uh, you know printed character but not the handwritten ones but still good enough i would say for and remember it is just four gig size of the model very very small model okay so now we have seen how it can do the vision related task let's see what are its text to image or t2i capabilities and this is the code for generating the images which is simply we are importing the libraries again specifying the model and i wanted to draw a stunning princess from Kabul in red white traditional clothing blue eyes brown hairs and then we are passing it some of the parameters and then running the generate command with some of those parameters it is generating the images and then we are generating few of the images out of it and then we are just simply putting it on our local disk on local disk if you go to genus directory you will say, uh, see generated samples directory it has generated all of these images there look at that and then you can just take your pick from here of course it's not 100 percent but remember the size of the model and given the size of the model i think this is quite good in the next one i am asking it a sleek red car glistening in sun with palm trees in background and then i already have run it so let's see what it has generated here let me and it generates lots of images as you can see so this is okay this one is okay yeah this one is better and you can take your pick of course yeah this one is not bad this is not good yeah this one is okay and of course we would have to play around with our um prompt to and i think if i use it in comfy ui with proper guidance scale strength and all that stuff i could really improve it and i think i will make another video where we will go with comfy ui and i think that will give us better control in order to do this generation but still i think for such a small 1.3 billion model it's not bad at all this looks good and look at the shadows and it's not malformed at all it's, you know especially the sun is there and it is at the beach this one is really good anyway <clears throat> that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching